Welcome to Life Words Day by Day, where today is Worldview Wednesday. And it seems that I'm seeing that word worldview a lot these days. But I must remember that even though the world may be new to our vocabulary, the reality of people having a worldview is not new. It is ancient. It's from the beginning of time. In 1 Chronicles, we read about some men who were very knowledgeable of what was going on in their world. 1 Chronicles chapter 12 is the account of the tribes of Israel coming to make D David king over them. And the men who represent the tribes receive some descriptions that are like on steroids. So listen to the descriptions. It says that there were armed troops bearing shield and spear, mighty men of valor and war, a young man mighty in valor, men of valor, famous men equipped for battle with all the weapons of war, having singleness of purpose armed with shield and spear, seasoned troops ready for battle. Who doesn't get excited reading that passage? Who doesn't begin to picture what these men must have looked like as they came hauling massive spears and shields and the scars they carried on their arms and backs? Who doesn't imagine them being able to sling arrows while on the run or riding from a horse? And who doesn't picture in their mind the still resolve that must have been present among these mighty men of valor? But then notice with me in verse 32, it says the men of Issachar, men who had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. You know, when it comes to kingdoms, you need men who bear shield and spear. When it comes to kingdoms, you need men who are willing, ready, and able to fight. When it comes to kingdoms, you need mighty men of valor who will look the enemy in his eye and stare him down and lay it all on the line for the sake of the kingdom. But you would also better have with you some people who will be able to direct your fight, who can tell you which direction your spears need to be pointed, and people who can paint the bullseye on the right object. And that is the importance of worldview. That's why we talk about worldview here. So do you understand the times and know what to do in light of those times? Well, that's what we want to accomplish on Worldview Wednesday, and we encourage you to continue to join us. When you pray today, please pray for Sean Richards and his family, our missionaries in Papua New Guinea. And also remember our Korean LifeWord broadcast that's heard in South Korea.